the media embargo for the Star Wars Galactic Cruiser has been lifted. So everybody's talking about it. There's videos out there, all kinds of stuff. And we're going to go through it because this thing looks terrible. And I want to remind you, you pay five or six thousand dollars for the privilege to stay at this hotel. So of course, a lot of the shill sites like Gizmodo here love it. It's amazing, the greatest thing ever. Uh, to me, it looks cheap as hell. Like here's a first order guy. By the way, this expensive hotel that was made has all kinds of Disney sequel trilogy shit in it. Once again, making me ask why the hell anybody thinks they're going to retcon the sequel trilogy when they're just doubling down on it left and right everywhere. So you get some stuff in this, but not much. Okay. You get this thing too, like to do missions, a uh, newsflash. You can do that in the uh, Hollywood, the Hollywood Disney Hollywood studios park. When you go to the, the Star Wars section of that park, uh, you can do these missions with their with their phone app. So they just move that into the hotel, which is which is a joke. Here's a kid up here by the counter. Now for kids, I bet they think this is amazing. Uh, and I guess maybe that's that's what's the the point is for kids. But you're still spending five to six thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks terrible. This isn't all I'm going to show you. I have videos to go over. Uh, here's Polygon with some nice, crisp pictures here. Uh, you look at this picture and you think, oh, that looks kind of kind of cool. Here's some people arriving to the launch pad. Here's where they send you in a U-Haul box truck. Look how they, they pull it up here and make it look all fancy. Uh, they're taking you there in a U-Haul truck, which is also kind of hilarious. You get some pictures here. Here's Space Karen. Space Karen right there, ready to go. Uh, you got this. Not much, right? But you look at this, and you're like, oh, well, this looks kind of cool. Maybe, right? But then you get here. I want to show you the room you get. This is the room you get for $5,000. This is the standard room. Look at how small this is, okay? And this is Twitter, Twitter quality, so... I'm sorry it's not more HD, but, I mean, I think you get the message here on how bad this is. Look at this. So there's for the kids right there, and then you and whoever sleep right here. Okay. This looks like a cruise ship room, which maybe is what they're going for, but for $5,000, $6,000, there's really no excuse for this. This is awful. Look at Look at the bathroom here. This is it. This is all the room you get, by the way. Look at the bathroom, stand-up shower. Not a lot of room, but, I mean, that's actually pretty basic for a, a hotel shower. But just don't you expect more? Like five or $6,000 is enough money to get a suite somewhere. Man, that's a tight fit. Hope you're not fat and go and take a dump. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is awful. I hope I'm not the only one that thinks this, but like this is just this is embarrassing. And you're not you're not really getting a window room. Like this is probably in like some like warehouse or something where they built this hotel. Because there's no windows. You get one of their little uh screens and you look like you're you're staring out into space, which to be fair is a part of the immersion, but just the size of this room is very, very very, very small. Unless you want to pay for the Han and Leia suite, where, of course, you can make your own little Ben Solo. So this is, man, I just, I would be embarrassed if I were Disney. But, you know, they're, they're going to make a lot of money. Here's Ray fighting Kylo Ren. Ren, I'm not going to. They play Star Wars music, which is probably copyright. There's Ray, And then here's Kylo Ren. And they have a. A little lightsaber fight. So there you go. I mean, that looks cheap. For five to six thousand dollars, I expect a little bit more. I mean, don't you? Don't you expect a little bit more for that kind of money? There's more. Here's people doing line dancing. They're doing line dancing. 
Get your Star Cruiser dance lessons. Yay. And if that doesn't look fun, this is for the adults, obviously. So the adults get to have fun. They're going to do some line dancing. There's more than that. Uh, you will get all the blue and green milk that you can drink. Most of this found on Drunk 3PO's uh, Twitter, by the way. Drunk 3PO underscore G-J-O-A-Y. You want to give him a follow. So all the blue and green milk you can drink. Be just like Jake Skywalker. And then we have, to top it all off, Space Bingo, everybody. You can play Space Bingo. <laughs> this is for the adults to do. Oh, we got a kid there playing bingo, too. So a lot of fun activities. Uh, you can play bingo. You can play uh, line dancing. And so much more fun, all for the low, low price of five to six thousand dollars. Stop five to six thousand dollars, everybody. Money well spent. Money well spent. But seriously, like the worst thing to me was the room. The room is awful. Like, look at that. You're gonna hit your knees on the wall while you're sitting down all the time. So <laughs> I like this guy's line here. How are all the chosen influencers' egos supposed to fit into these accommodations? <laughs> that, that's pretty funny. I mean, and this is a good place to end the video right here on a toilet because this is where Star Wars is right now. It's in that toilet. Okay, slowly flushing, slowly going and swirling down that hole. It's been going down that hole for a while. But it's been getting worse and worse and worse for a while. So, yeah, this is uh, this is embarrassing. So you don't get any of that from this. From this, like, you can barely tell. Polygon did their best to kind of cover it up, and they're of course a shell site, all about corporations. So they're going to do their best to make it look as good as possible. But this is embarrassing. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would please like subscribe, share the video, make sure you're still subscribed, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there. And come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.